Having endured a horrific childhood, I know all about the long and hard roads in life. It was once hopeless, dark, and empty for so many years, and I was also seeking death. Yet through it all, God kept it away from me. For so many years, I felt cursed like a black cloud was over my head, and it seemed that everything that I did went wrong. I recall waking up many times, uh, just saying to myself, what horrible thing is going to go wrong today? Uh, I had accepted defeat and failure as a way of life, and furthermore, I was invoking it by speaking it into existence on a regular basis. After living a good part of my life in a sea of negativity, I made two decisions that would dramatically turn my life around. Uh, the first decision was that I decided to make God first in my life and love Him with every fiber of my being and love my friend, neighbor, and brother as I would myself. This is what Jesus instructed us to do. And the second choice I made I had decided to purge the negativity out of my life and all who were in my life bringing negativity. As my faith grew in God, my faith grew in myself as well. When we fully trust that God is there to guide us, our self-worth increases along with our confidence. We develop a new mindset and suddenly we see the world differently. And where I used to seek death, now I seek life, and I declare victory in each and every new day. I used to live in a world of darkness, and now, God working through me, I lead others out of darkness. God does reward our strong faith with many blessings. I never in a million years thought that I could have achieved the things that I have in life all by the power of God and I can never thank Him and praise Him enough for it. However, I could not be where I am today without going through what I went through back then. It's all part of our journey. We all have one. And it's by our faith that God guides us through all the darkness all the curses and the storms and the demonic oppression in life he guides us through and by our faith he brings us to the other side to the abundant blessings and to a life full of love peace joy good health and prosperity are you sick and tired of being sick and tired like I was if so, you can change it right here and now. Remember, nothing changes unless you make the choice to do so. God gave us free will, so it's your decision. Never let anyone tell you that you are not good enough or that you can't do something. We can do anything that we set our minds to by the mighty power of God in Jesus' name. When I made God first in my life, I had activated my connection with Him. And by making that strong connection, we activate the mighty and holy power of God, which is within each and every one of us. And when that connection is truly activated, there's nothing that we can't do. I am living proof of this as a walking miracle from God. My life is so abundantly blessed now and I can never thank Him and praise Him enough for it. Even if something doesn't go quite the way that I want it to go, you know, even though my life is abundantly blessed, I still have problems just like everyone else. You know, we have to be real here. Uh, and even if it doesn't go the way that I think or I wanted it to go, God makes another way. As long as we keep our faith, He will always make a way for us. The bottom line is, is that if God is with us and for us, who can stand against us? No one. Nothing. Never give up on a dream or a goal. Keep fighting the good fight of faith every day. And if you should fall, then 
get back up and fight some more. If we fall a thousand times, get back up a thousand and one. By the mighty power of Yahweh in Jesus' name, I declare this. And for those who are seeking help in becoming free from the bondage of Satan and his oppression and his uh, demons that carry out all of these oppressions and possessions and curses and hexes and vexes and spells, then please contact me. BillBeanOffice at Yahoo.com is the email address. And www.BillBean.net is my website. I'm Bill Bean the spiritual warrior, and I'll stand for you. Thank you, and God bless you.